What's up, Bad to Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. How you doing? Well, I'm sitting at the table doing schoolwork and it's just been an emotional day. I think as teachers, well, I know for me, I'm not gonna speak for anybody else. I get so emotionally wrapped and you know, I'm still working to answer the emails. It's a lot of answering emails, checking um, students' work that they submitted. So it's a lot. Of, it's, it's a lot of email, and sometimes that that is overwhelming. So I may work until the evening time. So this is my lunch time right now. If anybody want to know, okay, my lunch. Okay, calm down. Just calm down. We get lunch. Okay. So. <laughs> But I don't know, I just decided to jump on here. It has been an emotional day. It started off an emotional morning. Morning, my morning was emotional. I cried like a two year old. Why? Because as a new online teacher, you know, we don't get that face to face time. I'm still looking at emails while I talk to y'all. <laughs> I probably would have gone live, but I would get in trouble for that because um we're not supposed to be on social media so if i i set up my some of my videos i'm trying to get back on track i'll edit them at night if and sometimes i'm falling asleep and then i'll set it to go off or to go out by eight and sometimes i even take a picture if they if i set the timer for them to go out at like 12 because i feel as though people are sleeping in i don't know i've just been trying different things i'll take a picture that say that it's scheduled because I don't want somebody to go back and run and tell administrator, oh, she's on social media. No, that was scheduled. I set up schedules for these things to go out. Anyway, that's not even what I was talking about. I was talking about my emotional morning um, because sometimes you think, even as a teacher, sometimes for me, sometimes you don't see the reward of what you do. Even if it's, even if it's something little, you don't know the impact that it may have on maybe even one student. You, you don't realize the impact and then, or it may be years later and a student may say, you know, you really made a difference. Or I was like, do you like, I did? You know, so just, you know, just being there and doing the best you can as a teacher. And I know what my heart is. And I know what I put into certain things. I will admit last week was emotional and I ha I haven't built up tough skin yet. A lot of you know I'm I'm sweet. <laughs> I haven't built up tough skin yet. So whoever enters my life, <laughs> they have to be feisty because then we have to balance. <laughs> Even friendships. I met a lady last year, um, basketball, we became friends and she was feisty. She was like, no, I'll take care of this. <laughs> so she was the feisty um, other half of me. Um, and she's so sweet. I still love her. She's very protective, you know, and so I'm not very feisty. I don't like conflict. I mean, you guys see with my own kids or more or less my son. But I, I, I'm over that. Um, I, I don't like conflict, especially when I know my heart was in the right place and all that. So I was emotionally jacked up yesterday how I felt I was bashed wrongfully so but I came up with my receipts and I still did not address the issue because I felt as though with certain people or certain situations it, it's a waste it's a waste of air it's a waste of air because they're gonna have their point of view and there's no change in it so why continue to make myself upset you know so I was really out of it last week and in my feelings I really was so this morning, you know, and I don't check emails on weekends. I don't do it on weekends. So, but this morning, there was an um, email from one of my students, a student that I didn't think I was making an impact on him at all, not even in the classroom, not at all. So he says, hi, this is such and such from your second period class I was letting you know that you're the best teacher during quarantine and I think I know why he said that um the live stream you did last month with the, was really fun and I did that live stream on YouTube you know this is before we had things in place I still wanted to engage with my students you know not knowing what they were going through so this was my time this is my energy time I took took away from my kids 
they ain't, they be in their room anyway, so I was probably bored. So anyway, <laughs> the live stream you did last month was really fun. And to be honest, I like your mukbang videos. And this is why, you know, I try to keep the videos, all my videos on the channel, kid friendly. You know, I, I go through my rants and stuff. I try to, you know, keep them as neutral as possible as much as I can. Okay? So... He says, I even like your mukbang videos. I also like the story you read last month, meaning the live stream. You should do more chapters next time. So he says, blessings to you. And it just touched my heart to know that he appreciated the story time. Um, you know, it was kind of like it also like um like an English review of things that we have learned already and you know digging deeper in the story and he says he really enjoyed that and it just it's like I needed his voice his words at that moment and I I don't know it was just something with his words and it just made me cry I just cried because the kindness of his words just did something to me especially after the bashing that, wrongfully so, the bashing that I received last week bothered my spirit so much that it was a nice contrast to have someone say something nice, kind, because you never know what someone is going through. You just don't know what someone may be going through. Even a smile can make the difference in someone's life. A smile, um, just saying good morning, how are you, and really meaning it can mean a difference but sometimes between life and death but his words really set the tone for my morning for my day and i'm gonna do the story time again on thursday evening but i think i'm gonna my um co-worker she's like you should show up as one of your characters and i didn't bring any of my characters to um to this school because I didn't know how I would reach everybody because I cannot do my characters more than one or two class periods because when I become a character, I become the character and it's physically, mentally exhausting. My adrenaline is going you're on, on, on and I, I wouldn't be able to do it the, the entire day. So depending on who decides to come into live, um, which will be you know, optional, not mandatory. Somebody has something to say about that live when it was at seven o'clock. Why do I have to have the live at seven o'clock at night? It, it, it's interfere with my dinner time. It's optional. This is my time. You don't have to eat your dinner. It's okay. It's okay. You go there, I go here, it's okay. Clap on, clap off. You don't have to come in. In, out, stay out. Yes. Baby girl, you don't have to be here. There's no grade for this. Then the other thing, a little girl, she didn't do well on one of the assignments. And I said, um, what did I say to her? Um, I said that you completed the assignment. You know, you, this was your score. It, it could have been better. I said, um, do you want to try again? Um, I said, I can unsubmit your answers for a second attempt. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm not 100% sure that we are allowed to use that one as a grade. But here's the thing. It may not be used as a grade, but the skills that I learned from doing that assignment, you're going to need those skills in eighth grade. And if you're not, if you're not mastering those skills in seventh grade, what's going to happen when you get to eighth grade? And those teachers in eighth grade, I'll tell you, at my school, they're no joke. They are no joke. It's almost college work. They are no joke. So I'm like, you need to master this basic reading comprehension. If you're not mastering it now, you're going to struggle in eighth grade. God forbid you get one of those teachers. <laughs> I will probably struggle in their class. So anyway, and I said, and she was like, yes, I want to try again. Thank you so much for allowing me to try again. But then the other side to that, you have students who don't want to do the work, who are not trying, who cannot master the basic seventh grade skills and who don't care. So I was just like, I was like, girl, baby girl, you're going to make me cry. I said, thank you for taking responsibility for your education and knowledge. Let me say this. Eighth grade will be more challenging than seventh grade than the work you received in seventh grade. 
rightfully so it's up you know the next grade level so the work should be a little more challenging I said um, the passages in this program are challenging and so will the work in eighth grade I am so so proud of you for at least putting in effort to do better and be better because no one is responsible for that besides you I wish I could give you a big hug I said you go girl okay I said let me head over to the program and reset it for you I said I, I, you got this you know ah I mean it just it just warms my heart that there's a student who wants to do better you know and I don't have to you know give those ultimatums well you're gonna fail or well, this is a grade no she was like and it's and it's not for a grade but she wants to do better that grade was unacceptable for her and so it just ugh, it just warms my heart and so that's what i've been doing you know emailing and responding to thing, things that they've uh, written i think they had to do um a little uh, one paragraph to uh this week and it's just been a joy just being able to give that individualized feedback to what the some of the students put in and then you have some students that haven't logged in at all not because they don't have technology because they're just not doing it and the same patterns that i've seen here for this online work i saw similar patterns in the classroom so there's less accountability now that it's all online because there's no teacher saying where's this where's this where's this so you know i'll just accept the small blessings and I'm glad my morning was set on a good positive note and um, I'm looking forward to um, story time. So I'll pick up story time one more time, but I'll probably do it as one of my characters because there was no way I could do it at school unless I did one class, ran and changed out. It's, it's too much. It's Miss Sweet Chasel is she's a riot, okay? So what I might do, I might videotape my little story time of course they're gonna be you know my silly self in there plus do it live so i may do but the live will be on zoom so that's separate for my students but i you know i may you know check in with my subscribers a little bit but i'll probably put it on my educational channel not everybody wants to you know do their little educational stuff not, not everybody's into that and i get that you know so i don't know i just want to share that with you guys and yeah i know it's a bunch of talking and no pranks but that's okay it was in my heart and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Yeah, so my day really started off great. It's been awesome. All right, let me get back to my lunch is almost over. Uh, let me get back to the grind and I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you, you know, trying to stay positive in the midst of all of this chaos. I mean, what do we have? And then the girls were down here doing homework and getting excited. They just left. They finished the test. And I like to see how Bobby and Sydney, I love to see how they interact with each other. They were slapping each other five and laughing. I really enjoy watching how they interact. So just the, the small gifts um, that I do not take for granted. And I was talking to a friend earlier and I was saying I never thought that I would see um, the world in this type of chaos um, or uncertainty because um, she sent me pictures of New York and deserted never in a million years would I have ever thought that I would see New York like that and or even where in Houston but I said what I said to her I said I'm grateful um, that I'm able to be here uh, with my kids during this um, trying time so I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm here with them you know or they could have been older and experiences but I'm glad I'm, I'm, I've lived to be here with them through this so that's all I got for y'all I'll just keep that I probably won't even edit this all my little stumbling over my words and stuff it is what it is y'all know I'm not perfect I don't, I'm, I don't always do everything right but I guess you know the little the little gifts um, that I give to my students some of them accept it and it reaches them and some it does not so I'm learning work in progress when I keep saying my five subscribers I know five million I know but um, I'm, I, I feel blessed even for, for the people who've reached out to me and so on and so forth thank you you guys warm my heart with that too so I'm just really feeling 
very grateful today okay <laughs> i love you until next time later